is a good life being Lucius. Your dad's a rich, powerful senator. You live in a big, fancy mansion. You've got all the toys and a waistcoat and a shiny tricycle you roll around looking sinister on. Yeah, that's it. But it's all a bit aimless until your sixth birthday when your true father, the devil, turns up and he's all like, Hey Lucius, I need you to... Follow the path of darkness while we bring forth the time of suffering. So yes, your dad is the Prince of Darkness and he wants souls, by which he means murders, by you, of the people hanging around in your family mansion. But you're just a little kid. How, you ask, are you going to kill all these unsuspecting maids and butlers and family friends? Well, like this. And like this. And like this. Like the invisible force of death in Final Destination, that is to say you're setting up fatal accidents around the house to kill targets assigned by your old man. The idea is to shuffle them off this mortal coil without getting caught by your human family or this chump policeman. Detective McCuffin, what do we got here? If you ever wondered why the devil's always taking control of feeble little kids, by the way, instead of brawny, influential adults, here's your answer. It's not just because children are natural vessels for evil, it's because no one ever suspects the feeble little kid, even when he's this sinister looking and never says a word. You start out with all the powers of an ordinary little boy. You can nick rat poison and deadly up someone's food, for instance. Or you can lock a maid into the walk-in freezer. Or you can steal a screwdriver and tamper with an oven. Then, as you get on, Satan treats you to telekinetic powers and mind control powers to help you do his bidding. Think of Lucius as a 3D point and click adventure, with each puzzle culminating in a grisly fatal accident. Then there are some stealthy bits where you sneak out of your room after dark and prowl around in your Antichrist gym jams. And this is a nice touch too. Your human family has crosses hanging up around the house, and when you're near them, they drain your devil powers, but not if you flip them upside down. At this point, the family deserves everything they get, because if your kid is inverting all the crosses in the house, then you call a priest before it's too late. Well, too late. The power of Christ compels you! The big swanky estate in which the whole game takes place looks rather nice. The characters themselves, less so. They're a little bit stiff and blank-faced, so it's not L.A. Noir. Although we can probably give Lucius himself a pass, I guess it makes sense if the Son of the Devil looks kind of soulless. Like Damien from The Omen, from which, obviously, Lucius takes a lot of cues. But exploring the enormous house is good times, as is rooting around for useful items, as is uncovering the story of how Lucius had his soul promised to the Devil by a satanic cult. If you're sick of being a goody-goody hero, you should have fun outwitting all the dead-eyed mortals cluttering up the mansion, because you don't get much more anti-hero than the Antichrist. So that's Lucius, and it's out for PC in October. <laughs> <laughs>